Hi, my name's Leanne, I'm here at Jimmy Bean's Bowl, and today I'm going to review the four different yarns that were in our March uh, beanie bag. So the theme was Merino and Friends, uh, because a lot of yarns are made out of Merino, as you probably noticed, but there's also some really cool other uh, ways you can do Merino. So first up we've got Tosh, uh, is this is Tosh, this is Tosh. Uh, we've got Madeline Tosh, uh, Tosh Sport. This is the sport weight version of their classic superwash merino. It's got a lot of swish to it. It's machine washable. It looks really great in the hand dyed colorways. This one plied. And um, if you've started knitting with your bag already, um, you'll notice that it's got this really bouncy, uh, kind of dense or uh, denser texture to it while you knit or crochet with it. Um, and it's just, it's a really good all around yarn. It's warm machine washable. It's good stuff. Soft. Always soft. Next up we've got Cascade Longwood. Uh, this is an extra fine merino, so this has been uh, combed out and treated and it's really really soft and then it's got a bunch of different plies. So um, it's got like six plies. So the great thing about this yarn is it's not going to ply or pill because it has so many plies. Um, the the downside is if you are a tight knitter or if you tend to pick at your stitches when you're knitting or crocheting, uh, it does tend to split a little bit, but uh, as long as you get in a rhythm, I've found with even with splitty yarn, it's not, um, it's not prohibitive to working with. Uh, this one comes in a bunch of different colors, again, really, really soft, won't pill, um, and this one has a little bit more drape to it than the bouncy. Then we have Sueño, which is a blend of merino and bamboo, and so the bamboo gives it kind of the soft sheen and a lot more drape, uh, so it's just this kind of very flowy, if you've worked with it yet, I don't know if you've worked with it yet, but if you have, you'll notice that when, when you're working like between these two, this one's going to seem like super, almost stiff compared to this, but this is not actually really stiff, it's just got that bouncy, uh, it holds its shape more, and this is a lot flowier, drapier yarn. Um, again, it's really soft, it's merino. Just can't go wrong with merino. And then last up, we've got Swan's Island All-American Sport. This is a Rambouillet wool, so not merino, but a cousin of. And this has got a much more rustic feel. You'll notice it's a lot bouncy, it's or similarly bouncy to this. Um, but it's got kind of a matte finish to it where the merino, the superwash has like almost a sheen or kind of a glow to certain colors. This has got a matte, uh, still bright and beautiful, not faded at all, but just a different look to it. And then this is a two ply. And it's, and you, I don't know if you can tell here, um, it's just me and the camera today, but if you've got a lot, it's a fuzzier yarn. So it's got this kind of fuzz to it where um, all of these have a more combed look, so it doesn't kind of get that poof off of it. You're not necessarily going to get a halo with this, it's just going to have a different texture um, than the Tosh or the Cascade or the Sueño. So these are our four yarns in our March beanie bag. I'm Leanne here at Jimmy Bean's Wolf. Happy knitting and crocheting!